well, a little late to the game, Disroot um, released a blog, and um, I didn't catch it because I'm not always popping in looking into it. But we're going to take a look at that today, so thank you very much. Welcome to the Anchorage, and this is DisQuest. <laughs> Well, welcome on back, and uh, yeah, like I was saying before, I'm a little late to the game, but I'm getting around to it, and here we are. So what we've got going on is we have a new blog entry for for Disroot, and it is right out at uh, on the website, and uh, if we transition over, we go over, and um, you know, we've got the uh, Disroot blog right here, and I'll have this link down in the description down below. And, um, you know, this is for this month's, uh, mm, this news, 24.3 new services and lacquer hitting the server. So it's pretty funny. So what we're going to do is we are going to kind of give a little bit of a, you know, just a brief look over and tell you about it. All right. So we, we got it. We get right on in stuff like that. And, um, you know, this is this news 24.03 new services and lacquer hitting the server. So they start off by, for, by first saying, wow, this one took forever to do. And our new year's resolution of posting on a regular basis isn't necessarily happening, but, uh, you know, we're working on it and, uh, we're, we're getting this one out. And, um, so, you know, it's had to be postponed a number of times and they're finally getting out to it. And they apologize for it and they hope that everybody's resolutions for the for the new year is going pretty well. And um, so they're excited and uh, they're happy so far this year. And uh, they're actually publishing their yearly report, their annual, which I previously covered in um, the last DisQuest um, you know, they're, they're publishing it now versus July. So, so, and they, they're like pat on the back to everybody for getting it, uh, getting their parts done on time and things of that sort. Uh, another point that they wanted to make sure to mention is that the additional information in their privacy policy, uh, version 1.5 has notable changes such as information regarding the new service that they call Describe, uh, information about a new web chat uh, platform called Movem, and uh, information on a new service called Libra Translate. So, and uh, some new information regarding uh, server backups, 1.3. So, and uh, so, the first new service that they have up there is they're calling it Describe. It's powered by Lemmy. And, uh, you know, it's the new service. And for, you know, some time they've been testing it out. And um, because they phased out their previous uh, message board forums uh, that was run by, uh, what was it? It was uh, Discourse. And uh, so they're mo they've moved on to Lemmy. And Lemmy happens to be a federated platform. So rather than having uh, forums isolated within an instance, you know, having it federated, so it goes out to the Fediverse. So, and there's many different forums, communities out there that people can subscribe to, follow, be involved in, stuff like that. So that, you know, it's not right here, but it's out here. So much, much better. And um, they also they also saw that uh, the Spanish disrooters have jumped onto it and have just flown away with it, and they've been going crazy on activity and um, really being involved on it, and they're doing really great. Um, I've basically started in, and uh, you know I got a I got my logins and such, but I held off on using it. Until it was actually uh, on display as a new service on the Disroot website. And um, I've been using it 
uh, to uh, post about new videos. Um, and the good thing about this instance of Lemmy, or any instance of Lemmy for that matter, is uh, that um, they uh, you can post it onto your community, and you can also cross-post it to uh, other communities, which is really, really good. And I'm taking, I've taken advantage of that. So I, I'll post my announcements in mine, and then, for example, like uh, DisQuest stuff. Um, I post it in mine, and then I'll cross-post it over to uh, the Disroot community uh, area. And that's, that's been working out pretty well. So, and um, you can explore your communities outside the server. And uh, there is, uh, on the blog entry, there's actually a hyperlink down there. And uh, so, that is uh, the Lemmy instance. Describe. All right, the next one is talking about themes. So... In the past few weeks, Antelopa has been out there and working on some more unified color palettes uh, for the themes regarding uh, Roundcube, the email side of it, and um, uh, CirxNG, or <laughs> Cirx, CirxNG, however you want to pronounce it. I call it CirxNG, but there we go. And, uh, you know, the end result so far has been looking pretty good, and they're happy with the darker themes. I am as well, because I prefer the dark. <laughs> so, and that's that. And um, on to Libra Translate. There's a new service. And um, while they were preparing for closing out 2023, um, Mies came out with, um, came out of nowhere. And uh, got all ready to set up and deploy Libra Translate. And, um, you know, it says in, in the blog that it was requested by a number of disk routers. I can only count myself because I haven't seen it from other people. But, um, and the thing is, is that this is a uh, service that is not tasking on anything, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> Low, if any, as they say, low, if any, littering, abuse factor. So, and um, the resources necessary to maintain it are very minimal. And it's working out pretty well. And um, so they're happy to announce that they have their own Disroot Translate service. And um, yeah, I, I pat myself on the back for getting that kind of going. Granted, it's almost been a year, but... No, never mind. It got done, and I'm really happy with that. So, anytime anyone needs to do translations, I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend translate.disroot.org, and there's a link in the in the blog that goes straight to it. Growing our own salary. That's an interesting. Uh, <laughs> that's a very interesting uh, title. So. Mind-blowing news. So, um, this is regarding the finances and the income over the past year. They decided that they could secure funds for many different purposes, and you can actually look at the yearly report, the annual report for the details. So, among all that, you know, financial compensation for Muppeth in particular, uh, you know, it's not paid for its full time, but it's an awesome step, as they were saying. And uh, so there's a huge thank you there for Muppet, and I thank you for your for your work. And uh, it's it's really good. So uh, let's see. We have decided they can allocate a monthly wages to Muppet of a thousand euros for the year. So that's cool. All right, that's really good. And um, so they've got, uh, you know, they want to be able to be fully financially independent um, in the future and uh, also to be able to compensate the entire time, or excuse me, the entire full team um, to full time. So any financial support that anyone can give towards this route is, is I know that they greatly appreciate it. Uh, 
They're like, keep that key fa- that caffeine coming. And there's a hyperlink. Probably goes out to the donation area. It's pretty cool. Another big uh, story or topic that they're really kind of having a pretty decent focus on is regarding lacquer. Now, that is, uh, that's regarding, you know, uh, operations behind the scenes, particularly with email. And uh, they've been testing it and everything like that. And, um, you know, they're been working on issues and getting those worked out. And, um, you know, they're going to be, it, lacquer is going to be going full blown live. And uh, so, you know, people can um, keep an eye out regarding that out on, uh, ooh, on Forge Joe. So, on the Git instance. So, and we have a special shout out. So, uh, let's see. I'll just probably just, I'll just read it straight out. We would like to give a shout out to everyone who, everyone who recently got more involved in our issue board, providing feedback, suggestions, as well as helping test and debug issues, as well as provide helping hand in translations, uh, helping with website text and much, much more. That little corner of the project is becoming more and more alive. And it's nice to see disrooters taking a more active part in shaping the project. Special thanks to Floss for Good, Shadow Strike, I3O, Mester, and Kittlepold, Kittlepold, if I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> and um, so, goals for 2024. Um, speaking of, and I'll just read it. Uh, speaking of the issue board, the annual report 2023, you can read about our plans for this year to make things a bit more clear and easier to follow. We have created a bunch of project boards where you can monitor the progress of such goals and where they have, uh, project boards listed, um, it's hyperlinked. So stay cool. The Disroot core team. So there we go. Sorry. I had put everything away and realized uh, or, or discovered that uh, I didn't um, properly stop recording. And because I had one last piece I wanted to record, and here's my second attempt. So we um, did everything, and, um, you know, was it uh, Disroot's doing a very good job at, at what they do and, um, you know, working on everything. And getting new services up and running, uh, maintaining existing services. And, you know, it's like, yeah, it's been tough to try to, you know, to communicate out to people uh, because they have to delay it because things just aren't perfectly right to talk about quite yet. And, uh, you know, it's understandable because that happens. Um, and, um, uh, you know, down at the end when they're talking about the you know, appreciation for people getting more involved and things like that, myself particularly included, I can only speak of myself outside of Floss for Good. He's been doing really well. Uh, the others I don't really recall all that much, but Floss for Good's been doing stuff on uh, Fourth Joe and uh, being really involved, so that's really good. And um, my involvement has more or less kind of been kind of like a consulty kind of thing um about a couple of services that uh may be coming i can't talk about them um and out of respect i'm not going to say hey guess what guess what we're talking about no people can see what we're talking about they have to go out and, and just look um i'm not going to advertise it so uh, to, you know, uh, just to kind of, you know, respect the development process, you know, it's like, you don't know, talk about stuff that's in development unless you're told it's all right. Um, and so my involvement has been, you know, a little more on the, on the discussionary consulty, my, here, here's my two cents kind of approach, but, um, I think it's valuable to an extent of some sort. And I very much appreciate and uh, and thank uh, folks for actually reaching out through the blog and thanking me personally. And um, I I I appreciate it and it means a lot. And um, I'm just 
I'm just doing what I can. And, uh, yeah, I can't get down into the code or the, uh, or the languages or anything like that. I mean, that's like drill down developer realm, and I am not. I am an end user tester. Quality assurance. Because uh, that's what I did at my job. And, uh, but of course, that job was really involved because, you know, I could deal with code to an extent. Uh, I could deal with that. I could deal with uh, databases, a lot of database stuff. Uh, my, you know, um, my SQL, my SQL, SQL, I even want to pronounce it. Um, you know, that kind of things. Uh, working, you know, you're working with those databases in uh, an application called Toad. Uh, I also dealt with um, job management, um, you, know, you know, running jobs in the servers. Uh, we used uh, Control M for that. Did a lot of stuff in uh, project related stuff in Jira. Um, PeopleSoft, that was a big one. And uh, because we did both Waterfall and Agile. Waterfall was first. Agile came later, and I'm like, I got used to Waterfall. I like that. Um, Agile, it's great and everything like that, but it's not my cup of tea, but that's just me, but I can work within it. Um, you know, and Waterfall worked out better for me because of the way that we have our, had our systems laid out. You know, we have bang, 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 not bang, bang. Eesh. So, yeah. <laughs> I I'd be willing to chat about it and say how it was and stuff like that. I didn't sign any NDA or anything like that, so I can talk about it all I want. But of course, I'll only do it to an extent because um, it was Big Bank, and I don't care about Big Bank, and I'm glad I'm no longer with them. So, anyhow, uh, that's this edition of Disquest. And uh, regarding the blog entry from the 11th, and uh, today is currently the 20th, so I'm nine days overdue, roughly. Um, I'll work on that. Yeah, uh, I'll try to. I'll try to get better on it. I'll probably go out and check it every couple of days or so, uh, to kind of keep an eye out. So there we go. I'd only discovered. That this was that this blog was out there is when I went out to Lemmy and I saw it out there, on on Describe, and I'm like, oh, ooh, that was a few days ago. Okay, let's get in here and get ready, read it, you know, breeze over it, see the points, and being like, okay, let's do a video. So there we go. So that's pretty much it. So. Catch me in the next video and uh, skull and drink to victory.